I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about properties of power series. In problem number 41, we'd like to find a power series for g of x is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus 2x quantity squared by differentiating or integrating the function f of x equals 1 over 1 minus 2x in power series form. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to take f of x, I'm going to write it as a power series, and then I'm going to use that information to somehow generate a power series for g of x. Alright, so first of all let's write down f of x. f of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus 2x. All right. Um, now, how do I write this as a power series though? I see that this has the form of a geometric series. So I could use geometric series knowledge to write this as a power series. In this case, A, if I think of this as an A over 1 minus R, A is 1 and R is 2x. So my power series for f of x would be the sum k going from what? Uh, 0 to infinity of a r to the k. Well a is 1, r is 2x, so it's 2x raised to the k. Alright, so this is my f of x. Uh, now what I want to do, and let me rewrite it the other way as well. This is 1 over 1 minus 2x. So f of x is equal to this guy, which is also equal to this guy. Now what I want to do is I see that if I took a derivative of this function, it's going to look very much like g of x. Let's try it and see what happens. So if I took a derivative, f prime of x, uh, let's take the derivative first of 1 over 1 minus 2x. That could also be written as 1 minus 2x to the power negative 1. So if I use the chain rule, it's negative 1 over 1 minus 2x squared times by the chain rule, what's the derivative of 1 minus 2x? It's negative 2. Uh, so another way of saying that is it's 2 over 1 minus 2x quantity squared. But wait a second, that's exactly g of x. So this is g of x, the derivative. So if I just take a derivative of this power series, term by term, I'll get g of x. This is power series. So let's do that right now. Uh, let's take the derivative and we'll get that job done. So if I take the derivative of 2x to the k, then I get uh, sum k going from 0 to infinity of k times 2x to the k minus 1 times the derivative of the 2x, which is 2. Remember, negative times negative 2 is actually a positive 2, so this is g of x. So if I want my power series expansion for g of x, then it's going to be 2. I could factor this 2 out of the sum times the sum k going from 0 to infinity of k times 2x to the k minus 1. And I have my power series expansion for g of x.